Dealing with negative emotions can be very frustrating. It can be challenging. It could just be a spiral into more negativity and more negative emotions. If you're new here, I'm Sarah, and I created this channel to help you live a more loving, fulfilling, and positive lifestyle. And today, we're going to talk about one, how to deal with negative emotions, and two, how to honor them. in dealing with your negative emotions is to identify what exactly you're feeling, whether it's anger or sadness or depression, anxiety, any type of negative emotion that you're possibly dealing with, bring that awareness in and figure out what it is exactly that you're feeling. And just knowing that one, it's not going to last forever. It's a very temporary thing. And then you want to find some acceptance in it. And this is part of what it means to honor your negative emotions as well as honoring your positive ones. You know, a lot of times when we're feeling negative in any way, we turn to a few different methods of coping with them. And the first one would be running away from our emotions. So that could look anything like sleeping so you don't have to deal with them to lessen their impact. It could be covering those emotions up such as drinking them away or smoking them away or binge eating even. And what happens when you don't face your negative emotions straight on is the emotions are, are an energy. And so what happens if you don't deal with them and you do something to cover them up or run away from them is they sit in your body and they get stagnant and they get stuck in there. And those can come out in so many different ways, including aches in your body, anxiety, disease, all kinds of things. So it's just better to deal with them head on. So typically when does a negative emotion pop up? It's usually when something that is happening in our current reality is not matching up with or lining up with something that we desire. An example of this could be if someone says something to you, if you know, you're stuck in traffic, if you get fired from a job, it could be anything that leads you to a negative emotion. So what you would need to do is actually retrace your steps and figure out the exact moment when your mood shifted. So I'll give you guys an example. Yesterday, I was going to film this video and I ended up being in a very negative headspace. And it was really frustrating, I couldn't shake it, and I'm driving around, okay, and I'm like, when, and I'm trying to trace back this negative emotion, when did my mood shift? When did I go into feeling this not so good feeling? And I'm tracing it back and I'm like, ah, it was when I got the phone call, I've been dealing with this whole mess of health insurance right now, where basically I thought I had health insurance for the last few months and I didn't. And all of a sudden I got a message from my health insurance company saying that I was disenrolled and that was about two weeks ago. And ever since then I've been on the phone nonstop with different companies just trying to figure it out. And I just like can't get health insurance and it's very frustrating and I'm like, Here's my money, please take my money, please give me health insurance. So I've been scared walking around knowing that like, hey, what if I get an accident? What if this happens? What if that happens? And I don't have coverage. That's for a whole other thing. But basically I had to trace it back and I was like, ah, it was that phone call I had from my health insurance company saying they weren't going to reinstate my insurance. So I didn't want to deal with it in a negative way. I brought that awareness in. I said, okay, Sarah, you're in a negative mood because of this. Great. Now, how am I going to pivot and change that emotion and make it a more positive one? So there are so many healthy ways to deal with these emotions that we can sometimes feel very stuck in. And so in that moment, I was like, hey, I have time to go to the gym. I know lifting weights will make me feel better. I'm gonna do that even though, guess what? I did not want to. I did not want to go to the gym at all. <laughs> you know, another healthy way of dealing with an emotion like this could be talking with someone, whether it's a therapist, a friend, a family member. Just try to keep in mind not everyone is in a mindset to be dealing with other people's problems if they're having a bad day themselves. So when you're reaching out to 
your friends or your family or someone in your life and you want to unload this on them, just ask them permission and make sure they're in a good headspace to receive that from you. So I go to the gym, I pull up, it is packed. I mean, the entire parking lot was just filled with cars. And I know from past experiences that if I go into a gym and it's super packed and I can't get in front of a mirror, get machines, get whatever I am trying to do that day, I get even more frustrated and angry. So I was like, screw this. I'm not going, which I knew wasn't the best decision for me, but it's just where I was in that moment. So what I ended up doing is turning to my negative way of dealing with negative emotions, which is a form of binge eating. Now I didn't binge eat necessarily, but instead of going to the gym and taking it out in a healthy way, I did run across the street and go to Chipotle. <laughs> So I'm driving home from Chipotle and I'm still in this really dense mindset and I just couldn't shake this mood and I was so frustrated and then it turns into this spiral because then I'm frustrated that I'm being fr that I am frustrated and it just kind of like spins you down, right? So what you need to do in those moments if you just can't shake it is find something to be grateful for. Gratitude can literally change your life. And a lot of times it doesn't have anything to do with what's actually the problem or what's going on in your life, but it could be anything. So in that moment, I was like, okay, there are plenty of things I can still be grateful for today. And that is the fact that I do have the health to get up and go to the gym, even though I didn't partake in that at that moment. And I have the money to go out and buy this food that I just bought for myself. And you just find those little things to be grateful for and it will begin to shift your mood. And even, look, my mood didn't shift. I didn't go from feeling like frustrated and angry and annoyed to like, I'm super happy and ready to go. But it did shift my mood probably 10 to 20%. And isn't it worth it just to shift it for that 10 to 20%? And just really understanding that we're human we were built to feel all the range of emotions i'm sure it's possible but more than likely you're not going to live a 100 percent positive life all the time so what you need to learn how to do is manage those emotions and just understand that like this too shall pass and you're not always going to be in this so bring that awareness trace it back and see if hey is there anything i can change here what exactly was it what was that moment that turned my mood into this not so grateful one. Figure out a healthy way to fix it, let it out, journal, that's something that I like to do a lot. Sometimes if I'm feeling in a bad headspace, I will pull out my Bible and read a little bit of that or read some kind of other book. Um, there are just so many things, maybe you like to paint or draw or go in nature, go on a walk, play with your dog. I mean, really whatever it is, and just make little movements to correct or change your mood and find that gratitude in anything that you can grasp onto. You know, I am so grateful that I was in a car that could take me to the gym and a car that I can pay for and that keeps me safe and that I, hey, I may not have health insurance right now, but I have car insurance. And so just finding those little things while you're feeling frustrated can make such a big difference. And I will say, while I, I haven't found the solution to my health insurance problem, it's something I'm working towards. And by the time I went to sleep last night, I was fine. I was in a good mood. Even though I skipped the gym and did a little overeating, I did journal, I read some of the Bible, I watched a movie I've been wanting to watch, and I just really found some peace in that. So I wanted to share that with you guys because I know dealing with negative emotions can be so frustrating and if you don't understand the scientific reason why you feel that way or why it's something that can be continuous i will put that link in the box above that's a really really fantastic video i would really suggest you check out to explain to you more of the chemical and scientific reasons and why you continue to feel that way and i hope you found some value in this video i love you guys so much just because you want to live a positive life doesn't mean you're going to feel positive 100 percent of the time i know so many people come up to me daily weekly and they just love how happy and positive i seem however i don't feel that way all the time i don't feel that way 24 7 and the more that you can accept and honor and know that that's going to pass the easier it becomes to deal with i love you guys so much and don't forget be limitlessly yourself mm -hmm.